The iPhone 12 Pro Max is finally here, rocking the latest 5 nanometer process node technology within its A14 Bionic chipset, but how does it stack up against its little sibling, the iPhone 12 running the same A14 Bionic, the Mate 40 Pro with 5 nanometer tech, and the ROG Phone 3 and Note 20 Ultra with Snapdragon 865 Plus processing chips, and of course the Mi 10 Ultra with a Snapdragon 865. We've updated them all to the latest available software over here. We have four gigs and six gigs of RAM on the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro Max respectively at LPDDR4X. The rest of them are all rocking LPDDR5 RAM with the Max being 12 gigs on the ROG and the Note 20 Ultra. We have 60 Hertz on the two iPhones. Of course, we can't go above that. 90 Hertz on the Mate 40 Pro, 160 Hertz on the ROG Phone 3 and 120 Hertz on both the Note 20 Ultra and Mi 10 Ultra. I have dropped the QHD Plus panels on the Mate 40 Pro and Note 20 Ultra to Full HD to match those of the rest of the devices over here. We will be enabling performance modes on the four Android devices over here, all their available options. Unfortunately, there are no performance mode options within the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro Max. I hope to see we get some serious scores from the 12 Pro Max. However, we are rocking the same Antutu version 8.4.9 on all the Android devices and the latest available one for iOS is 8.3.6. This is Tech Nick and without further ado, let's go. We're going to start here by checking out the battery percentage at the start of the test. Of course, we will compare this again at the end once we have run through the entire benchmark. We are using an infrared heat gun over here with an emissivity level of 0.5 since that seems to be the most accurate for electronic devices and a room temperature of around 24 degrees in Celsius. Checking the temps at the start over here, they are all pretty similar, but the hottest being the Mi 10 Ultra and the coolest so far being the Note 20 Ultra. We'll compare this at the end once again. We will be speeding up certain sections of to to a version 8. 4.9 on the Android devices and 0.3.6 on the iOS devices and slowing it back down for certain parts of the test. Of course, we're in part one over here. You can see it is nice and smooth on all the five nanometer tech devices, the three on the left and the three on the right all running the Snapdragon 865 or 865 plus processing chips rocking a seven nanometer plus tech are all still nice and smooth over here. We'll have to see when we get to the terracottatologist if you can see any jitteriness within the Snapdragon chips on the right hand side since it's using older 7 nanometer plus tech. We are currently jumping through to the second portion of Antutu version 8 over here. Nice and smooth within all the devices over here. No problems whatsoever. Remember the iPhone displays do tend to dim after a while when they get too hot. The same thing I have noticed happen to the Huawei Mate 40 Pro though it doesn't happen to the other three devices on the right hand side. What we've been waiting for over here the terracotta soldiers the most strenuous part of Antutu version 8 and I must say the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro Max are doing a fantastic job. You can still see a couple stutters over there, but nothing quite as bad as the 865 and 865 Plus chips on the right hand side. I must say that the Huawei Mate 40 Pro's wonderful Kirin 9000 5 nanometer chipset is doing a great job. They all look pretty good, though I think the smoothest over here might just be that 5 nanometer 814 Bionic chip on the iPhones. Nevertheless, they are still powering through like absolute champions within this test. And remember that I couldn't exactly start all phones at the same time since I only have two hands. So I started the iPhones at the same time, the Mate 40 Pro and ROG Phone 3 at the same time, and the two at the right hand side over there at the same time as well. You must remember that when we test out GPU rendering over here, the iPhones are using Metal API where the Android devices are running Vulkan API. And though this might not be the best thing for the iPhones in terms of Antutu, it certainly puts them at an advantage in other tests such as 3D Mark and Geekbench where they tend to get higher compute scores. Checking out the 60 Hertz on the iPhones, it's not too bad I guess, but once you jump to 90, 160 or 120 on the Mate 40 Pro, ROG Phone 3 or Note 20 Ultra, you definitely notice a difference and you don't really want to go back to 60 Hertz. We have the least drain on the iPhone 12 Pro Max and ROG Phone 3 with 4% drain, 6% drain on the Mate 40 Pro and Mi 10 Ultra, which are indeed the worst. The best milliamp hour permanent reading is indeed the iPhone 12. Close behind that is the iPhone 12 Pro Max with 12.8 and 13.4 milliamp hours per minute respectively. And the worst is indeed the Mi 10 Ultra with 24.6 milliamp hours per minute. And not far behind that is the Mate 40 Pro with 24. 
4 with the ROG Phone 3 and Note 20 Ultra sitting in between the lot. We have the coolest devices matching each other here, the two iPhone 12 devices, the hottest being the Mi 10 Ultra with almost 50 degrees in Celsius, with the Mate 40 Pro second hottest to the Mi 10 Ultra. The Mate 40 Pro, however, did gain the most in temp here with 9.5, and the least gain was the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and second to that is the iPhone 12, though quite a big gap between those two. When it comes to final score, in my last test, the Mi 10 Ultra actually placed ahead of the Mate 40 Pro, but since we got a new EMUI software update, the Mate 40 Pro has crushed it with close to 700,000 points and grabbing that first place spot on the podium. Second place, and of course, the Mi 10 Ultra over here. Third, the ROG Phone 3 with a massive jump down from the Mi 10 Ultra to 630,000. Fourth is indeed the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which has now finally surpassed that 600,000 score mark with 620. Not far behind that, it's little brother, the iPhone 12 with 613. In my last test, it couldn't quite reach that 600 mark. And in dead last, we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Once again, finally over the 600K mark, it hasn't gotten there before, but it is the worst of the test, still not the worst around. This is still an impressive performing phone to say the least. The worst CPU was indeed the iPhone 12 and best being the Mi 10 Ultra, surprising stuff over there. Best GPU, the Mate 40 Pro and worst GPU, the ROG Phone 3, didn't see that one coming. Worst memory, the iPhone 12 and best memory, the Mate 40 Pro, of course, with that wonderful LP DDR5, but the worst user experience for the Mate 40 Pro and the best user User experience for the ROG Phone 3. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. A sub to the channel would be incredible. This is Technic, and I'll see you in the next one.